it. Welcome back, welcome back. This is still one in the morning and we are on to the first conversation of the day. We want to speak on matters career, particularly successful career choice and nurturing. So how do, exactly do you get to making the right choice and then how do you nurture that? And for that, we are joined by one Lillian Kulola, who is a professional baker, CEO of Imura Luxury Cakes. She's also a makeup artist, as I had told you before, and she also owns an online thrift shop. Karibu sana, Lynette. Asante sana. Glad to have you with us. Yeah. So yeah. you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, how yeah. you started, your story, anything that you want to share? Okay, um, my name is Lynette Kulola. I am grateful that I am here today, this morning. Mm -hmm. And um, I am so happy to be here and mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad to meet you too. So um, I am a professional baker and I am a businesswoman who have been doing business for the past years. And also about my cake business, I started uh, uh, last year and I've been in a, it has been a year in this cake business. And uh, most of the time I do my, I do my cake business, it is online. Mm -hmm. All my, my business, cake business, thrift and uh, makeup. Mm -hmm. I have been a makeup artist for almost five years now. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So you've been, for you it's been a journey. Do you, has it been like uh, discovering yourself, like uh, first you started with makeup and yeah. then now the online thrift business and then baking. Is it something that you discover you can do or is it something you knew you could do but you've taken time to get to all of them okay um let me say this uh, since i have been having a um, okay first let me say i i i have a disability mm -hmm. and i i have a hearing problem which i use a hearing aid okay. and i've been using this hearing aid okay for the past years i was not using a hearing aid okay mm -hmm. so since last year, I got this hearing aid. For the whole 20 years, I've just been like that without an hearing aid. Wow. So all those past time, I couldn't do uh, many things like uh, getting a job. I couldn't even communicate with, with clients properly. So it was so difficult for me to, 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 to be employed, okay? So I decided to think about, let me do a business. Let me self-employ myself like I employ myself by doing something mm -hmm. so this is something that I discovered from before so I had a passion of being creative of doing a lot of things I did I, need, I, I needed to balance this and this and that so mm -hmm. in this in this uh, in this business mm -hmm. it is something that I have discovered in the past time because I knew very well I could not get employed in okay. any type of job Mm -hmm. Okay, so I decided to do business because this business is, is easier for me because I myself, I know what I am doing. I know who I am talking to and I know what I am trying to build in my career. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. That's very encouraging that you don't need to be self-employed. If that's not an option, then you can always employ yourself and you yes. can make it as you have. So how was it for you? Uh, getting out there you started with uh, the makeup first yeah i started with the makeup first because mm -hmm. uh, i went to school and i did i went to school for a celebrity makeup artist called makeup by rose mm -hmm. i went there i started doing my makeup that is when i had the passion of doing things with my hands mm -hmm. because i believed myself my hands is possible to do many things okay mm -hmm. so i started with makeup then when I started with makeup, I went to thrift business, which the, the thrift business has been there for like two years plus three years there. Okay. So then I thought of, I cannot just stand with only two business. I wow. decided to think again <laughs> and I did the cake business. And my cake business, I started last year, July, uh -huh. until today. So I mark maybe it's going, uh, my next month is going to be a year in this anniversary. Well, yeah. and we have a cake here, as you <laughs> can see. We went to feast to it in just a few, probably off camera, but thank you for the, for the cake again. Yeah, well wow, done. amazing. For the online thrift business, um, how was it for you, especially that uh, you, you have a hearing challenge yeah. back then and you weren't uh, mm. using the hearing aid. Yeah. How was it for you communicating and getting into that line of business? Okay, 
For, for the thrift business, let me say it was a bit difficult when I started because uh, all I did, is it was all to depend on online because online, you know, we, we, the technology nowadays is about online marketing. So anything we do, I do before, I, uh, I couldn't even receive phone calls from my client. So anytime a client calls me, I find it difficult to, to explain to him or her where you locate, okay, I am located this blah, 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 mm -hmm. or maybe I am, uh, I am at this place, my shop is at my store. No, I didn't have a physical shop yet, uh -huh. but I was renting a shelf whereby I put my things there so that people can come and pick them because it oh was yeah. an online business. Yeah. yeah. So I, uh, it was so difficult for me to communicate with clients. Where are you? What time are you delivering? So the main important thing, Mm -hmm. Since I got this, it, it became very easy for me to receive calls because my hearing aid is connected to Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So when, I, when a client calls me, I can hear it. But okay. before, it was so hard because all I could do is just texting, chatting, WhatsApp. So you couldn't it. really speak to them on phone completely? Yeah, mostly I, I, I can speak to some of them, but not all of them. Uh -huh. So most of the time I tell my clients, you can find my client, Ananyambia, uh -huh. how much is this? Where are you located? How am I going to get this? And I, I find I have not heard what the client has said properly. Uh -huh. See, so I end up saying yes, and I have not heard it. So I decide I tell the client kindly text me so that we can communicate properly. Oh, all right. Yeah. So now with the hearing aid, it got better for you. Yeah. And yeah. even in the cake business, because I know they still sort of receive orders, everything came better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How maneuvering through the three of them? Now we do all the three. Yeah, all three. How, how is it creating a balance? <laughs> Let me say it is difficult. I know business I is not easy for everyone, I you know? I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, so I put the balance. You know, I am a mom. <laughs> wow, and you're, um, that's like a, <laughs> a whole different job on its own. Yeah. Wow. So you have your, your mom, your makeup artist, you, uh, you sell uh, thrift clothes, and you're a baker. Yeah. So wow. all those things I try to balance, I just put one business up and the other business up. So it is about balancing. You know, all my business are on social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp, and uh, TikTok, you see? Mm -hmm. So like uh, Instagram, I manage like uh, makeup page, mm -hmm. uh, baking cake page, and uh, thrift page. Wow, all by and yourself. And also Instagram the same, same time. So I post, depending with the day in my week, I have to make sure that I have been consistent in every page, even mm -hmm. if I just post only one, one thing. thing. So I must make sure that mm -hmm. I am improving in my posting, in how I do my work step by step. It mm -hmm. is not easy. I cannot say it is not perfect, I but <laughs> you have to, you know, you I have, have to, to balance everything. Yeah, but I'm grateful because God has blessed me in this. This is the work of my hands. And wow, I'm very, I mean, very grateful. You've taken it to a literal, you know, the work of my hands. Whatever you find to do, do it. You know, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, I believe there's a scripture yeah. like that. Yeah. Whatever you find, you're, okay, not, probably not a scripture, but I've had it so many times. Yeah. Whatever you find to do with your hands, do it. Yeah. And that's exactly what you've done. Yeah. So, what would you advise people? Uh, in choosing the right, for you, this is your career path, right? Yeah, yeah. Because this is what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, what would you advise people, uh, someone who's looking to getting into formal employment, another person looking into, uh, into getting into entrepreneurship, how do you make the right career choice? Okay, so, okay, for me, what I can say for, for those people who are trying to do, to trying to do business or trying to, to start a business, mm -hmm. I can tell them that, you know, you have, you really, I'm sure you'll have the fear of starting this kind of, any kind of business. You have to talk to God and tell God, give me an idea of doing this. Give me an idea. Actually, I, I didn't even, uh, didn't know if I could be baking cakes now. So I came up mm -hmm. with an idea, like I have an oven. Just like I that. Have, uh, I have my hands. Mm -hmm. I, uh, okay, it's just eggs. <laughs> um, b sugar, blah, 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 you put them together. So I was like, why, hey, if I have an oven, why should I just sit down in the house and saying that there is nothing to do? Mm -hmm. I decided to use my oven to bake the, the cakes. One step at a time, one cake I post. I was just baking a cake for, for, uh -huh. for at home, just for eating, wow. not for selling. So <laughs> I create content with the cakes 
that I am doing them at home. Mm -hmm. And I cut, I eat and do everything, I decorate. So I, I was just trying, you know. Wow. So that is how I, dis I started getting clients from here to there, posting, showing them what I am doing. So people were surprised. Mm -hmm. I just went to study to do cake for only just one day. I didn't one go to a, one to a school. Yes, just one day. Wow. I didn't <laughs> even go to school of baking. Mm -hmm. So I, I, am, I have been teaching myself for a while how to do this, improving new recipes, uh, learning new things, decoration, being creative, doing my research. I've been sleeping late night doing all research about these cakes. Wow. Yeah. All self-taught. I mean, that's why you need to be paid so much because <laughs> mm -hmm. it takes a lot. It's all you and it's the effort, the passion that you have. And all this came from an idea. That's what yeah. you're saying. You, you, you didn't, you know, you can't sit down and say that there's no work in Kenya. Any yeah. a job. That's, yeah. you know, it's yeah. easy saying that yeah. because ma many people are unemployed. So it's easy getting into that talk, semaya kuna job, kaya kuna pesa kono nimbaya. But you can also try and think how you thought. Yeah. I have this oven, yeah. so what can I do with this oven? Look at what you have inside the house and yeah. and use it yeah. to go. What do you think are common mistakes that people make in their career or even in starting their career? Okay, the more the common mistakes are. Um, <laughs> fear you know some people have fear of starting a business mm -hmm. like you say i cannot do this no and you have to believe yourself you can do it mm. okay so the sometimes you know in business you need a budget okay mm -hmm. it is all about plans actually in my cake business i didn't even start with a lot of money i just used the the small money that i had just to buy the tools blah 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 just to try them out Mm -hmm. After buying the tools, start to restock everything together. I d actually, up to today, I don't have everything. You're using what for you baking. have available. Yeah, so it is just step by step. So many people think that uh, most mm -hmm. mistakes they do is that they think that if you want to start a business, you need to have a, a lot everything. of money, like everything. No, you don't need everything to start a business. Mm -hmm. You just need what you have to start a business. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Just yeah. What you have available, start with it. Yeah. The rest will follow as you go. Exactly. So how do you nurture? Yeah. How do you nurture it? This is your your business. This is your baby. Uh, for example, the cake yeah. uh, business, almost a year now. How yeah. have you nurtured it all through? Okay. Okay. For for the for all this time, uh, I have been. <laughs> I mean. How do, you, how do I clarify this? And maybe you can clarify from what you mean because I've not understood how do you, it well. How do you make sure that it doesn't die? You know, you can start a business uh, some months into it, probably okay. you don't have clients, so it dies, or you do not push yourself enough, so you give up on it. So mm -hmm. how do you make sure that it grows, basically? Okay. Or oh, what I can say, consistent. Mm -hmm. Con be consistent, you know. Never give up. You like if you do it today, uh -huh. you should not stop. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Like uh, if I post today, you can find some people in business. They just joke a lot. They say, "I'm gonna post today, and tomorrow, no, maybe next week, no, maybe you forget about your social media platform." Mm -hmm. So you have to be consistent. Even if you don't have any any clients, mm -hmm. just find a way. You could just bake a cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Okay bake cupcakes, mm -hmm. do content, okay? Show them how it looks inside, what flavor is this, um, how did you bake, what ingredient are in these cupcakes, you see? Mm. So it can give you, uh, every day at least you have a way of posting, a way of showing people that you did something and you know very well you don't have clients, <laughs> okay? So you don't have just to sit because you're waiting for a client to come. Mm -hmm. Okay, me, I'm going to sit here today, so maybe I wait for a client to, to come so that I can, I can post a picture. Yeah. No, you have to do something. Check it, check the, show mm -hmm. them how you mix, show them how you put your ingredients, just mm -hmm. do anything so that you, every time, and make sure you have to post m every day. Wow. Speaking about posting every day, there's something about uh, I once had that you need to, no matter what you're doing, whatever profession, whether you're employed or self-employed, 
there's one thing that you need to do. You need to market yourself mannerlessly. Yeah. That's one yeah. thing that you owe yourself. Yeah. What do you say to this, especially in this era? How has that helped you? Uh, because you've marketing. been speaking passionately about posting consistently. Yeah. yeah. So me, I can say in marketing for, let's say, like Instagram as a... Uh, uh, where you advertise yourself, uh, maybe you pay for advertisement. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can find some, uh, you can find some influencers are charging people how to post for you the, the cakes, mm -hmm. the or the pictures. So you have to find a way. Not every day, but you have to find a way. Like Instagram ads, you have to make sure you pay uh, maybe a month. Mm -hmm. for the advertisement it depends with how you want to use your money mm -hmm. so you can even pay for a week for uh for, for two days for five days does it work yeah it works mm -hmm. it works depending with how you you are you, you you be creative in posting you cannot just post just a name you have to look but for a mm -hmm. very good a very good cake a very good picture you put and make sure that is the picture for advertisement okay mm -hmm. so you make sure it looks so nice when somebody can come and say hey this girl she's making a very beautiful cake okay mm -hmm. let me check the page and see what she's doing yeah. many things about the cake so mm -hmm. me I, I i just make sure that i be creative with with the with what i am doing like yeah. this cake today mm -hmm. i have t i have made it and i have taken a picture actually it was my wow. first time to make a bento cake this is a bento cake oh first time we're the <laughs> ones uh, launching it <laughs> yeah <laughs> amazing a bento cake what's a bento cake a bento Educate cake me, yeah? it is uh, a cake that uh, it is uh, at a uh, as a tiny cake mm -hmm. whereby it is put together with the uh, cupcakes mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and a, f a half piece of cake together so wow. that is what we call a bento cake it is just like a treat okay uh -huh. yeah wow i don't know if the camera can capture this so that you see uh, the bento cake that we are talking about let me let me let me see wow it looks so nice yeah i mean i'm already salivating to it let me open it yeah. on behalf of uh, our viewers because we are going to eat the cake on your behalf <laughs> beauty of being a host yeah <laughs> make sure that we're eating <laughs> wow 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 uh well packaged beautifully packaged yeah. i will just show you try and show you just in a while in a little while wow Here goes the cake. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, it looks so lovely and yummy. Can't wait to eat it. So this is a bento cake. How long does it take you to, to make it? Okay, okay. For me, mm -hmm. for that, it is kind of okay. When I start baking, it takes a, a, an hour to bake the whole cake first before I decorate it. Uh -huh. So it takes uh, maybe after after the cake to cool down, you have to get back again to decoration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it can take like uh, to for for baking in the oven, it takes like an hour, mm -hmm. and for decorating, it takes like an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah. So basically, two, around two hours thirty minutes. Yeah, two hours, 30 minutes. But remember, mm -hmm. before you start decorating, you have to remove the cake out of the oven to cool. Uh -huh. yeah. So there's a lot of things that get into yeah. it and a lot of time that it yeah. takes. Because when you get the price of a cake, <laughs> actually, this is a trending cake nowadays. Ah. This is the famous trending cake. Bento okay. cake is something famous today uh -huh. from 2022 to 2023. Many people mm -hmm. have told me experience about bento cake. So I saw this idea and decided okay. to do something crazy because I've been seeing uh, uh -huh. the international people have been trying to make beautiful cakes. So I decided to catch up and take that idea. Uh -huh. This is what I'm going to do. It. Wow. So yeah. there's also the... Uh, need to continuously learn be very curious about what's happening move with the trends yeah. in your car in your in your path yeah. especially in business because there's a lot of competition how do you handle competition okay okay <laughs> for me i say about competition i say like uh, mm -hmm. i don't compete <laughs> when it comes to business <laughs> okay i just do what i i know what i'm doing but most important mm -hmm. i do my research first okay mm -hmm. so i don't okay let's say if someone yeah. is doing the same thing as me it is okay i don't mind but i have to come up with with a creative 
mm -hmm. idea because sometimes competition in business is not something that I, I should be doing because uh, everybody you is capable of winning. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you, you find your own inspiration mm -hmm. and then you move with it. Yeah, yeah. Because like, at the end of the day, I think everyone has their unique touch to something. There's yeah. always something unique about Yeah, your so cake. most of the time as you find that mm -hmm. this is a bento cake, I come with, with my uh, idea of making tall cakes, you know. Tall so cakes. You, have, you, have you ever seen there is a difference between flat cakes and tall cakes? Uh, I, the tall cakes uh -huh. are the, the cakes that they come up like they are in four, yeah. in four inches. They are tall, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that is the cake that I bake a lot. Mm -hmm. And people discovered that how do I manage to put two four. kg cake into three tier? Yes, they look so like everybody have been asking me, how is it possible or are you mm. lying to us? <laughs> so it is my idea. So uh -huh. I just come up and say, I can do it. I think you should think mm -hmm. what you're going to do with this. Wow. Yeah. So your own creativity, as you said it, yeah. and people are interested in that as yeah, well. Yeah. Wow. Okay. For, and for your business now, um, do you have any people that you have employed at the moment? Okay. No, okay. I do everything by myself. I have not employed anyone at this moment because mm -hmm. uh, right now with this economic situation, you know, yeah. you can't uh, be employing everyone in your business. Since since in my cake business, mm -hmm. I manage. But if it's someone who is helping me to deliver, I employ uh, anybody who can deliver for me the cake because I I am always held up between delivering five cakes the same day. Wow. Yeah. So. Mm. I, I, I hire somebody to, to help me deliver the cake. And, but employment, about employing somebody, I've never even thought about this. So I, th I think doing everything by myself, I can do it. You can. <laughs> but as the business grows, do you yeah. think that uh, yes, that will course, be possible? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, wonderful. So for people who are starting, would you also advise that um, when the business is still small, still in the baby stage, that yeah. they should just do it on their own yeah. before they employ someone because uh, when money goes out you really don't you don't make profit or is it yeah, by choice yeah uh, yeah. yeah so um, for the people who are in small business like they haven't uh, achieved yet in the business like me i can say i'm not a big business person but i'm trying i'm not perfect really, you're good <laughs> <laughs> they mean uh -huh. yes so uh, I can say uh, those people who are in small business, I think, don't think that uh, mm -hmm. money will come first, you know? Mm -hmm. So you have to be patient. Yeah. Be patient with the, with your small business. It can take even five years for the business to grow. You never know. Mm -hmm. So you can find some people are blessed. Uh, a business can grow in a year mm -hmm. and a business can grow in two years. So it depends with how the level of how you push your business. So if your business is still young, you need to keep going. Don't give up. Just keep going and do whatever you can do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Before we, we, we wrap up on this, I want you to take us through or give a picture of the different kind of businesses because you're in three of them. Yeah. Maybe someone just wants to be a makeup artist. Maybe someone just wants to get into, yeah. you know, the thrift business, yeah. selling clothes, or someone just wants to get into baking. Yeah. Give us a feel of the different businesses, the spaces. Let's start with makeup. Yeah. How is it? For makeup, okay. For makeup, eh, it is good. And uh, for makeup, I started a long time ago after school, after finishing my makeup training. Mm -hmm. And for makeup, it is good. And you know, uh, right now I can say, um, for me, not really perfect like 100%. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you can find the economic situation. You see, right now you can find the beauty products have been taxed, okay? Uh, every beauty product have gone up. So mm -hmm. you can find you can be charging a client depending on 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 how you want to mm -hmm. to charge your client, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly in my makeup business, I I am a freelancer makeup artist. I don't have a studio. Okay. I just go to a client's ho house. I do the makeup. If it is wedding, mm -hmm. I go to to the location of the wedding. I do the makeup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how the um uh, in terms of pay, does it have Good money, or is it something that you grow into? And once you get somewhere, is it like a business makeup. where when you, you know, you have a good brand, then you start making money? 
Yeah, for makeup, I can say it has money. Let me say, beauty industry is a multi millionaire mm -hmm. industry, you know? So everybody does makeup. But according to me, I can say it is, I am just trying, like, I am just doing it because makeup is my passion. Mm -hmm. Makeup is something that I discovered since when I was so young. So I wanted to do this because I love everything about makeup but for now let me say according to the economy right now mm -hmm. not everybody can afford to pay for makeup like a normal makeup just to go somewhere you can find some people are doing makeup every day so many people decide to just learn how to do their own makeup and do their own makeup like a normal day okay yeah all right now on to the thrift business how is it like how do you get uh the bills the mtumba and then you know sell it uh, Okay. Uh, at a good prices. Okay. For for Mtumba business, mm -hmm. uh, my thrift business I've been doing for two years. And what I do, I wake up very early in the morning, I go to Kikomba, I pick actually I don't open the whole bell. Mm. I pick one by one by one. I choose. So you know I have a taste on choosing something nice. So I like mm -hmm. I love something nice. When this is nice, I take it and I go and sell it. So about opening the bells, I have I've not been thinking about that because you can find some bells they can come with the with what you don't want. So what mm -hmm. I do, I go to Kikomba very early in the morning at five a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, by by five thirty, I am there. Mm -hmm. I start uh, walking around and choose one by one by one. I pick uh, so I sell dresses and I sell bikinis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I pick everything one by one in Kikomba. Wow, yeah. and it it uh, gives you good money. Yeah, it has good uh, profits. Yeah, of course. B mm, Tumba business is good. It has a good profit. Actually, in Tumba business, you need to have a taste. Yeah. You have to have a taste in what you are looking for because you can find some things uh, in Kikomba they are so expensive. Sometimes you can find some of the bills are over the pr overpriced, yeah. but you can find that thing is overpriced. But you have to make sure. This thing is this dress is overpriced, but it is very good and it is beautiful. It's a very good quality, mm -hmm. and so when you post it, someone will buy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because people say that yeah, for you to go to Gikomba, you need to know the people that you need to know to have your own spots. <laughs> because yeah. if you just go there like an ordinary person, uh, it was you and go expensive and everything. Exactly. So, I think, mm -hmm. so what I do, I know people there. So okay. I connect with people. First of all, in the beginning when I started, it was so difficult knowing people. Uh -huh. Like I get this guy has been opening the, the bell for all the time. I pick one by one. So you can find somebody even doesn't know, can't don't even talk to you because mm -hmm. he or she knows you are a new person here. But once you get used to, the more you go, the more you connect with people, yeah. check their numbers, talk to them, tell them, uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna come to the market and pick this and this so be there uh, make sure I am there blah 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 so you talk to them you know mm -hmm. make the friends with them you know there is no way you can <laughs> go to Kikomba and just sit there yourself and say I am gonna go to and pick this no you have to know people know that them how build a rapport get, uh, yeah. get in sync with them and then that's how you yeah. build your business slowly yeah. and slowly yeah. and now the cake business Okay, for cake business, mm -hmm. um, it is so good. Like, I am grateful, you know? You're, you're glad that you started. I, I love it because uh, mm -hmm. cake business, what I love about my cake business, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, cake business can help you with your anxiety. You can relax your mind. Wow. You know? It's like playing with art, mm -hmm. applying butter, creams, whatever. So you just have to... Be creative. Uh, your mind is not thinking too far. Uh -huh, it's okay? therapeutic. So it is focus uh -huh. on what you are doing. You forget your problems. You forget everything about the stress. So you focus on doing something nice. Mm -hmm. And the cake business is so good. I am grateful because it has been giving me profit. And uh, mm -hmm. I've been trying just a year. And I have baked enough cakes. How many cakes approximately have you baked uh, within this time since you started? Almost a year now. But I, I cannot say how many cakes because I don't even remember there are how many. Countless. There are a lot. You have many odd. I mean, that's a good thing. The fact that you can't remember, I mean, yeah. means you've baked a lot and a lot. Yeah. Um, before we close, there's this campaign that you, you are championing for in, the, in another media interview that you are in. Oh, for the other media, it was uh, the trend on yeah, 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 yeah. TV. Yeah. yeah, it was around... Um, I can't really remember it, but the digital space, disability in the digital space, uh, getting to work 
yeah. within the spaces and everything. Yeah, so uh, according to the Enable, it is mm -hmm. called Enable. Okay. Uh, it is a, a company that supports people with disabilities uh, to help them to improve the, uh, in their digital platforms. Like you can find uh, people with disability, how do they use their digital pla platform, mm -hmm. like marketing, doing their business. That is all about the Enable. So enable. how do they use their phones, their laptops, their computers, communication, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. About that. C how can someone who wants to know about it find it? What? If someone wants to know about the campaign inability, yeah. what where can they find this material? You can go to, you can find them. Uh, you can just go to Google and uh, research about the enable. Mm -hmm. So I don't have much details about that because I I am part of the team. Okay. Like I am not. Uh, I don't know everything about that, but mm -hmm. I am the team. I'm part of the team. They have supported me. Aww. They have helped me in this journey of uh, of uh, getting a lot of people, knowing a lot of people. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, you can find them on social media. They are called Enable. I think they have a social media platform on Instagram and Facebook, All right. and also Google mm. website. Okay, yeah. amazing. Yeah. And uh, finally, finally, uh, what is that one thing yeah. that you would say is your secret or one thing that someone should take away from this interview from how you started your journey in business to where you are now and to where you see yourself in future what is that key thing that you would give us advice to someone watching and that's your camera okay can you say the question again because <laughs> oh okay uh one advice that you would give to someone who's watching regarding um uh, taking a leap in business, building your business, and yeah, being successful in okay. business. So uh, I can, well, the advice I can give to people there outside is that mm -hmm. you should never give up in what you're doing. Keep moving and keep doing whatever you want to do. And also business can be hard, okay? Business is not something that you can start today and be successful tomorrow. You mm -hmm. have to be patient mm -hmm. and uh, be consistent with what you do and uh, fall in love with what you do. If you have the passion of what you are doing, do anything you want. Don't let your mind stop you from what you want to do, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Don't let your mind, I've forgotten that, don't let your mind stop you from doing what you want to do. Yeah. Wow, yeah. and it's for everyone, business. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Lynette. So where yeah, can yeah. people find you on your social handles? Okay, well, you can find me mm -hmm. on my Instagram page, Imora Luxury Cakes. Uh, Facebook, Imora Luxury Cakes. For cakes and for drift, it is Samawea Kenya. Samawea 254. Samawea Kenya 254. And uh, both Facebook and Instagram. And for makeup, uh, it's just Lynette Kulola. But for Facebook, you can say, I, can, you can, I can tell you it is Glam by Kipulupulu. Glam by Kipulupulu. Kipulupulu, yeah. Kipulupulu is a Taita name, which means ah. Mrembo. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> amazing. You have heard it from Lynette, and she, say, she had such amazing insights. It's very encouraging. I already feel motivated. I'm very inspired because we are about to take, uh, to eat some good cake right here on the show, courtesy of Lynette. I hope you have been, uh, you know, inspired by it. I remember the hashtag is one the morning at Y254 channel. We're going to take a short break and then Brad Sakwa will be coming up with a very interesting conversation that you definitely don't want to miss. See you on the other side. <laughs>